All right, took a quick break to do some things around the house, but we are back, so welcome to episode number 99. As we said last time, we are saying goodbye to Vold, maybe forever, but we'll see. And uh, continuing on with our mission. I actually started this episode once already. Didn't get too far, about three minutes in. And my video driver froze and was reset, which didn't affect the game, but did crash my recording software. And when making a Let's Play, that's obviously problematic, so... I figured you guys didn't want to see a black screen with me talking over it for three minutes. So I figured we'll just record it. We didn't really do anything, we just flew to Aya. And we will do that again. Bold orbit is steady. System view... and cluster view... I, uh, so one thing I was musing about was, uh, I wonder how far the distance is between these planets. Is it like a few days travel, a few hours, a few weeks? Probably at least a few days, because it seems like the systems aren't well connected. Like, running a trade route is a big journey. Alright, there's Aya. Lots of scourge in the system. Gotta watch out for that. And the planet is also pretty close to that asteroid belt. Seems a little risky. Yeah, we have a lot of quests here. And they all take place in the city of Aya. On Aya. And here we are. Um, right, so lots of quests here, and actually we have two new quests as well. And I really came here to tie up loose ends, not to create new ones, but we are trying to see a majority of the game, so let's go ahead and see what these guys have to say. Honor to meet you, Pathfinder. Initiative pilot Marixis. I run supplies to your outposts. What brings you to Aya? Your survival supplies only Aya has. I'm waiting on clearance to enter the city, but it's taking too long. I understand their caution, but the outposts need these supplies. I have to get them, now. They let me into the city? I can help. I appreciate that. To start, Eos needs a way to produce food to support population growth. They requested Kiloa seeds to begin their own crops. There's an agricultural scientist who might sell some. I'll make sure to get those seeds. Settlers on Kadara are suffering from a bacterial infection. They need Angaran antibiotics to fight it. A medic in the city should be able to help. Got it. They'll have that medicine in no time. Eladin's water purifier can't keep up with demand. They're requesting one of those Angaran ionic filters. There are engineers who work in the aqueducts here. I'll bet they have what we need. On it. One filter coming up. Alright, so we have three tasks for here in the city. I don't know why he still has quest marker. But we'll be back to him anyway once we complete the quest, so we'll talk to him then. He did talk very quietly, so hopefully you guys could hear him okay. And there was another quest giver over here. Oh, in this place. Okay, and for whatever reason I can't put a waypoint down, so whatever. Pretty sure I know the way. Hello. Can I access your computer? I guess I can. Hostile activity, that's not good. When you have a moment, Pathfinder, this is a tremendous honor. I must express my admiration for all you've done. Crossing the void between galaxies, navigating the Scourge to find Aya, 
Incredible. The odds were against us, that's for sure. Yet here we are, strangers from different galaxies conversing in friendship. Extraordinary. I am Mariko Darej, Chief Voneron. A Voneron? That's very... I don't know what. <laughs> ah, linguistics, not my strength. I am a celestial observer, charting the movements of stars, planets, and the Scourge. An astronomer? You know the safe routes out there? We deploy satellites that alert us to new hazards and opportunities. But we've lost contact with several key observers. They've simply stopped. I sent a vessel to scan their last known locations, but nothing's been found. Your Tempest is highly advanced. I hoped you could aid our search. Even Pathfinders need a good map. I'll look into it. I knew you'd understand. I'll provide search nav points. And when I can finally reconcile our charts with fresh satellite data, I'll gladly share all we have. Well, that could be useful to the initiative. Interesting quest background. Not sure uh, what the actual gameplay of it will be. Ooh. Didn't know there was a back door there. Alright, so what's next? Yeah, that guy still has a quest marker. Uh, let's go ahead and turn in the relics while we're close by. Display stand. It's pretty cool. Kind of a hidden entrance to the public museum. Oh, this isn't the museum. I trust our people had a smooth transition to Aya. The Angara have been gracious. Everything's going well. Good. Keep me updated. Tan out. I've never lied to a director before. So what's the lie? Pathfinder, it's a pleasure. I'm Ambassador Riala, Chief Diplomat for the Initiative on Aya. I was removed from Cryo specifically for this. Quite the wake-up call. I assume you're trained for first contact diplomacy. I'm a social anthropologist with a linguistics background. Close enough for Director Tan. I hear you're to thank for our new ties with Aya. This is our best shot at an alliance. Now we just need to keep our people from wrecking it. No matter how hard they try. So I'm pretty sure a quest I did was bring me to her. She's not giving me a quest, but that's what it sounds like. If something's wrong, I need to know. Maybe you can help me fix it. A Salarian botanist named Sorvis Len is here, learning how to improve our crops. He sent an urgent comm, saying a member of the Angaran resistance had threatened him. What happened? I'm not sure. Sorvis is an excellent scientist, but not the best communicator. I'm concerned this could escalate if someone doesn't look into it, but I don't have the staff to spare. Interesting choice, but I don't want to turn down the quest. I can go settle things. I'm a friendly face for both sides. That would be helpful. With any luck, we can prevent this from getting worse. What's our end goal for Aya? A strong alliance is all we can ask for. It's what we're working toward. Helios is the Angara's home. They dictate the terms of this partnership, not us. We need them as allies, and they could benefit from us. But we have to tread lightly. Show them we're not invaders. Historically, when two civilizations meet, one consumes or destroys the other. We need to break that cycle. How many of our people have they lit into the city? A strictly limited number, and only certain professions. Scientists, engineers, and scholars. The Angara have agreed to allow some of our people to work in Aya's research facilities. That's huge. It's more than I expected. Tan wants me to push for social visits, but I'm holding my ground. We need to move at their pace. 
They've been extraordinarily gracious, all things considered. I'll take whatever they're willing to give. Aside from Storvis Len, is everything okay? Need anything else? Actually, yes. Director Tan gave me a project. He wants more Aya natives to live on the Nexus. He thinks it will deepen our partnership. A few Angara expressed interest, but... None of them will agree to live on the Nexus without speaking to you first. Why me? After what you've accomplished? I didn't want to bother you, but... You asked. I'll point you towards the candidates. If you could convince them to transfer, I'd be grateful. Guess that's the quest. That's all for now. I'm here if you need anything. Alright. See, we got XP as if we also completed a quest, but I... I don't know. I'm confused. So there's... No, that's not the museum. Where was the museum? Oh, that's over here. Okay. And what's over here? Oh, that's somebody I have to speak to? Yeah. Alright, lots to do here in Aya. Might not get it all done this episode, but we will do as much as we can. Let's start by grabbing that plan for Suvi for movie night. Everybody loves movie night. Ooh, this is cool. Must be the governor, but I think I've already talked to her, and if I haven't, I don't really want to. I have enough on my plate at the moment. Oh, come on, Ryder, jump. In case you guys couldn't hear him, one was hoping for not more humans, but they wouldn't mind more Asari. And the other one asked what the difference is, and they said the Asari are more blue. At least that's what I gather from it. Alright, here's the plant market. Goods for the home. We want special stuff. Um, whoa, lots of salvage. Uh, and I would like... Sure, we'll take this. Remnant fighter model. Have I even seen a remnant fighter? I guess the Angara found one somewhere because they built a model of it. And that's what I need, though, the plant. Alright, return to Suvi. We'll do that later, of course. And those are the seeds that, that pilot needs. Weird question. You don't have any Kiloa seeds, do you? I... yes, I do. Need some? Alright, that was easy enough. Guess there's different little quests as opposed to one big quest. You're one of Ambassador Riala's candidates to live on the Nexus. I am. Glad you finally showed up. Let's get down to it. I've lived my whole life wanting to meet aliens who didn't want me dead. But my family's here. How can I stay in touch with them from the Nexus? They could probably move too if they wanted, but then I guess they have other friends and other distant family and then it kind of goes on forever. You'll have ways to send them text messages and comm transmissions. I want contact with the people I love. You offer machines. But are not good enough, Pathfinder. Wrong answer, I guess. I mean, they have, like, holograms now. That's... I mean, you can't give them a hug, I guess. But besides that... You can see them, you can speak to them. You were just walking through the floor. And you think I didn't see that, but I did. Oh well. I mean, what, what answer did you expect? You could visit them, I guess? That... I'm not going to tell them anything he doesn't already know. Oh well. Maybe this is not the right job for me. Uh, Liam, you wanted to... Both of you wanted to hang out, right? I think Drac wanted to hang out on Kadara. Good to be back here. Ready to hit those scans? What am I looking for? 
Moran called out suppliers that may have useful properties for our tech. Just need to get Sam's eye on them. Take a stroll. Enjoy the market. Nap sent. Alright, I'll take care of that one too. These Angara are stronger than they look. Getting into trouble, Drac? Do I need to keep you on the ship? <laughs> Not what I meant. Just thinking it can't be easy to be Angara under the Ket's boot. Old Krogan like me can relate. All right, here's our second attempt. Pathfinder, Ambassador Riala didn't think you'd have time for me. She said you needed to talk before agreeing to live on the Nexus. This is the opportunity of a lifetime. I'm an anthropologist, but I've only ever studied my own people. I've heard the Nexus is home to multiple species and cultures. It would be fascinating and possibly dangerous. Bacteria, viruses, other contaminants. My family worries about me. Are you sure I'll be safe? This seems almost too easy. Is this a trick question? I'm not 100% sure that she'd be safe, but I mean, I think both species have really good scientists who would be aware of any possible issues. They wouldn't let me on Aya if I was a walking Petri dish, would they? You aren't taking this seriously enough to satisfy my family. Uh, I can't go without their blessing. I'm sorry. I knew it had to be a trick question. Okay, well, <laughs> that's zero for two. I guess I should have just been honest. But I really do think that it's probably pretty safe. Um, Ambassador Riala. Oh, that's the one that we're having the issue with. Okay. See the repositories right here. So many quests. Can't turn around and walk two feet without running into a quest. Pavawa, I'm glad they finally let you into the city. You deserve it. This is Aya's cultural museum and history archive. It's small, but you've already made it brighter. Haven't I talked to her before? Why is she just surprised I got lent to the city now? Doesn't make a lot of sense. Um... Am I not supposed to talk to her about the quest? I'll come back when I have something. Stars guide your travels. What is going on with this city? Like, everything is... <sighs> Do I have to walk around and put it on a stand? But if so, then why does she have the quest marker on her? Like, every quest here seems not quite programmed right. Yeah, return all this to Avella. You are Avella. Take my stuff. Hello, Pathfinder. Any good news for me? There we go, okay. I picked this up. Any idea what it might be? How in the skies did you find an Angaran star map? One that still works, even. It must be pre-scourge. If we analyze it, we can learn where our people traveled before the Dark Age. And it might even point you to the Star Forge. Aren't star maps usually bigger? An Angaran star map isn't used for navigation. It acts as a log of where its owner traveled. This one's data is locked. But Aileen can decrypt it for me. That's pretty cool. I picked up this figure earlier. It might be Angara. This this is unfamiliar to me. It does resemble an Angara, but it looks so strange. It's clearly centuries old. Is it an artistic interpretation, or is this what we really look like? Implications. Pathfinder, you may have discovered our earliest artifact yet. Yeah, it could be something that somebody else made of an Angara. Could it be a relic from another culture? The technique and material matches other Angaran relics, and you found it in one of our worlds. But perhaps the depiction isn't an Angara, it could be a deity of some sort. Is this Angaran? I found it on one of your homeworlds. Son of Buff, it's an ancient Ravan, a musical instrument. It uses an Angara's body energy to produce music. We have them now, but nothing this beautiful. The songs it played were probably lost long ago. How much culture have we forgotten? Art, music, stories, it's all gone. I can't imagine losing everything that way. You left your culture behind. This isn't much different. In any case, relics like this help us. You've given me more to study than I ever expected. I've got a lot of work ahead. 
Thank you for your help, Pathfinder. I'll let you know if I discover anything. I think the difference there is that we brought our culture with us. We didn't really forget it. At least not yet. Okay, check that one off the list. I can't work under these conditions. What does it take to be left alone? Ambassador Riala sent me to check on you. You reported that someone in the Resistance threatened you. Tell me exactly what happened. I didn't know Riala was sending the Pathfinder. I deserve no less, of course. I was measuring the photonic dispersal from the canopies when some random brute interrupted me. I asked him to move, and he got nasty. Said it was my fault his friend was dead. <laughs> Ridiculous. Do you know what he meant by that? He ranted nonsense about a vessel and selling slots to outsiders. He got right up in my face and compared me to a cat. He wanted to kill me. I could see it in his eyes. The whole conversation made no sense. I think he was inebriated. Sounds like there's more to this. Don't suppose you caught his name? Didn't ask, didn't want it, didn't need it. When he left, I tagged him with infrared dye from my sample kit. Invisible to the naked eye, but not to a scanner. I'll scan people around the Resistance headquarters. See if I find him. You're supposed to represent our interests, Anaya. Go, represent. I have work to do. All right. Oh, we'll do that one in a bit as well. Um, so we backtrack a bit. What's this one? Acquire the ionic filter. And all right, let's go do these two or three. Should we scan resistance folks while we're here? I guess we have to go all the way inside. Move team Vion to replace them. Oh, six and nine still unstable. They'll be out of food in two days. At our moment, three. They have to fall back. Sounds like you've got trouble. Too many kids, not enough resistance. I have a team that's been in the field for six months without resupply. They won't come in. They say they're close to taking down a kid outpost, but I don't know. Hmm. So either choice is not demanding they come back. It's either trust them and let them do it or send back up to help them. Well, if they're already stretched thin, so I really want to say send backup to be better safe than sorry. But that backup's coming from somewhere else. And it sounds like that somewhere else might need them more than these guys do. So let's let's trust them. Give your team a chance to pull it off. We fought best when the odds are against us. Maybe you're right. This is the hardest part of my job. Thank you for the advice, Pathfinder. All right. So he was not a quest person then. How do I get to the med center? Here we go. No entering the med center until you're clean. How do I decontaminate? Ion console. Touch the start pad, it does the rest. That's right. Should've just gotten one of these for that person who's worried about the bacteria. You're not supposed to be here. Oh, but said legit, I recognize the name. That's the person that I think that Krogan was concerned about, right? Lieta? You're tough to track down. How do you know my name? What do you want? Rorik was worried about you. He sent me to give you this cryo bracelet. I... I don't want it. Take it away. I want nothing to do with Rorik. With any of you. You've been through a lot, haven't you? You wouldn't want to hear about it. Try me. I was dumped by scavengers. 
Outsiders who left me for dead. I thought I could come to Aya and feel safe with my people. Forget what happened. And now you're here. Seems like no matter where I go, I can't escape outsiders. All of you need to just go away and leave me alone. You were jumped by scavengers? On Elodin. They said they had salvage to sell. I was stupid enough to follow them. Once we were alone, they attacked. Left me for dead. Took my ship and flew off world. How did you get back? I walked. Three hours on the dunes with a few broken ribs. Rode back to Kadara with another salvager. I thought Aya wouldn't take anyone from Kadara. They don't. I told them what happened and they welcomed me. Ephra took me in. He says I'm a fighter. Resistance material. I spent so long wanting more than what Angara worlds could give me. I was wrong. You can't lose faith. Some of those outsiders care about you. Like who? Rorik, for one. He sent me to find you, didn't he? You went to a lot of trouble for someone you didn't know. Why? Lots of us are trying to bring some good to Helios. Like Rorik. Like me. Rorik. I should have known he'd be worried about me. Can I see that bracelet again? He actually made it. He said you can use it to visit him again. It... It'll take me some time, but I think I can do that. I know Rorik. He'd blame himself if he knew what happened. It would be better if he didn't know the truth. It's your choice, but think about it. Well, I don't think we have to go back and talk to him, so... Maybe it's an option, though, if you ever go back there. We'll see. Alright, next up is the Angaran Antibiotics. Which, of course, are here in the Med Center. My people on Kadara are fighting a bacterial infection. Do you have antibiotics? Of course. Will this do? <laughs> Gotta pay for them, of course. All right, that wasn't too difficult. And we still have to scan the people. Yep. I detect the infrared dye Sorvis Len used to mock the person who threatened him. That's our man. It took humanity eight years to get a Citadel embassy back home. Pretty impressive to get one here so fast. All it took was handling some remnant. It'll take more to keep this partnership going. Ambassador Riala will handle the embassy. Let's us focus on everything else. I know why you're here. The botanist. You want an apology for what I said to him. I only have one side of the story. Tell me yours. It's hard to explain. Try me. Aya isn't big enough to give everyone a home. We each live here a short time and then move on. For someone to come, another must go. The exchanges are chosen at random. We call this arrangement the Vassal, time of change. It worked well, until now. The Vassal never accounted for outsiders living on Aya. There's only so much room. When our leaders agreed to make a place for your people here, it came with a cost. My friend won a place on Aya, but he sold that slot so one of you could stay here instead. Sold it how? What did he get? Comforts for his family, resources to improve their home on Haval. He always put others before himself. That's how he died, fighting Ket on Vold. When I found out, I was angry. Said things to your botanist I shouldn't have, but I'd never hurt your people. He thinks you want him dead. Tell him what you just told me, and let's move on. I thought I was clear the first time. Maybe his translator malfunctioned. I'll talk to our ambassador, see if we can minimize our impact on your vassal. We don't expect things to be easy. Only that you understand, nothing is free for us. Well, that wasn't something I had learned before, so that's an interesting development. Indeed, something you don't really think about. Alright, we'll return to the ambassador in a bit. Um, what's this one? Ionic filter, let's do that next. Hmm. 
Or at least his friend made the choice, though. It seems like they offer incentives for people to give up their slot. They don't just randomly take the slots away, which is good. That, I'm sure, would breed even more bitterness. Do you work on water filtration here? I designed the system for it. Can you sell me an ionic filter? My people need it on Elodin. If they're tough enough for Elodin, they deserve help. Here. I suspect that the guy will pay us back for these items, since he would have paid for them anyway if he had been allowed access to the city. Next up, we have I'm talking to Liam, or we talked to Liam, but doing his quest and returning to the ambassador. Pathfinder. Any news on what happened to Sorvis Len? Do you know about the Vassal, the Angaran lottery that decides who gets to live on Aya? I've heard of it. Why? Angar are selling their slots to come here, so our people can stay in their place. Including a member of the Angaran resistance. He was killed on Vold. Wouldn't have happened if he'd been here. No one told me of this arrangement. Well, we have to do something. Interesting choice. We could pay for it. I'm not sure that would help too much, though. Make room back home. So let some of the Angara come on the Nexus? That's what she wanted anyway, right? We could let Angara who give up their slots live on the Nexus. It's safer than Vold. Exactly what I was thinking. No one should suffer on our behalf. Thank you, Pathfinder. I'll forward your proposal to Director Tan immediately. Sounds like a win-win. That's all for now. I'm here if you need anything. And... I think I leveled up. I saw like a flash during the conversation, and then I had a tier 7 research thing unlocked. Alright, let's go do Liam's quest now. Sorry, Governor. I keep trying to shortcut through your office. Now, Liam wanted me to scan the goods of a hostile vendor. Over here, perhaps? Hey, Alexi, I tracked down some samples of the Angaran antiseptic you were talking about. The Angaran antiseptic? Oh, Sumar. That's the name, isn't it? Something like that. Can't wait to test its applications. Thank you very much, Vetra. Anything for the woman who keeps us healthy. Guess I'm not the only one on a quest. Liam? God damn it. What's going on? Nothing to worry about. Just come grab a table with me. Didn't even scan anything yet. Oh, irrigation unit. That's cool. There's lots of them, in fact. wonder if that's part of a different quest. These are actually pretty well hidden. Didn't really notice them until I used the scanner. Alright, back to Liam. Pathfinder, you're good here. We'll worry about the data another time. Liam, what's going on? I, uh, figured we should head up somewhere nice and open. You were being cased. Are you getting me in trouble? What was this about? We're not in trouble exactly, but I don't blame them for being angry. I wanted to get data that would help yields at our outposts. Varan told me what to scan, but I called it off. I still owe her, but it's better than pissing off some gouging hardliner. Sorry I didn't clue you in. It's a security thing. Food is security. Was this an attempt to copy their methods? Steal secrets? We're not competing companies. It's about learning to live here. Remember my Tempest freakout? I tried proper channels, got blocked by the Angara and the Nexus. There's only so much Jar can tell us, so I did what we do back in Crisis Response. Bend the rules. 
Well, it doesn't seem like a big deal, but I also don't want him to uh, to not fill me in on these things. I am his boss, and we're all in this together. Liam, I deserve better than having this sprung on me mid-market. You're right. Of course, you're right. And the Angara are right, too. The last people who showed up out of the blue were the Ket, the ultimate users. I don't want us getting lumped in with them, and I really, really don't want to ruin the market. Street food and shooting the shit with you feels normal. About time something did. Let's not push our luck. We'll save the market for another day. Uh, good idea, Pathfinder. We've enough trouble. Probably more coming. All right. Quest completed. Uh, I think all that's left is heading back here, delivering supplies to that guy, and talking to that guy. This is our last chance to get somebody to the Nexus, and again, I can't click on that quest. Should probably fast travel, but this is such a nice little place. If I don't sell it, you don't need it. Might as well enjoy the views while we're here. Take a nice scenic jog. Ambassador Riala said you're thinking of moving to the Nexus. Pathfinder. I'm honored even to be considered for the transfer. I won't be happy as just an observer. I want, need to work. I engineer power systems. Will I be allowed employment alongside your people? All right. Well, I don't want to make promises that I can't keep, even though I, I feel like being the pathfinder, I could pull some strings and make it happen no matter what. But since that backfired last time, let's go with this. Be honest. If you put in a request, someone will get back to you. And if they refuse? <sighs> I'll have to think about it. Thank you, Pathfinder. So we got a maybe. Did I get no experience for uh, not getting anything to come? Not seen any XP pop-ups. <laughs> so maybe I royally flunked that quest, but oh well. At least we completed it. And let's complete this quest as well. I found Kiloa seeds for Eos. Is this enough? It's perfect. I'll make sure Eos gets them. More of your outposts need help, if you have time. Vol's power grid is lagging without proper solar input. The solar amplifier would give them a boost. The solar technicians here may have the required parts. I'll see what I can find. So maybe that's why he started a quest marker. He had more to give. And in that case, I probably should have talked to him before I went to the city. But, alright. Here, I have the antibiotics for Kadara. Will the settlers be okay? Once they have these, they'll be fine. I'll make sure they know who to thank. I managed to find an ionic filter for Elodin. Make sure they get it. I'll get this delivered right away. They'll be relieved to have enough water. Well, he didn't pay me back, but I don't really need the credits, so it doesn't matter that much. Um, all right, one last quest, and at least it's not too far away. Solar amplifier. You work on the solar panels? Do you have an amplifier for solar energy? Nothing as big as these, but I have a smaller one on hand. Do you need it? Yes, I do. Looks interesting, too. Wonder if there's a bonus for completing all these quests. 
All right, well, once again, it might not be our last time on Aya. In fact, I'd be a little surprised if it was. But you never know. Here, I found the solar amplifier for Vold. They'll be happy to see this. No more power outages. Thank you, Pathfinder. Yay. And this is a, uh, a game, unlike, say, Inquisition, where I, I doubt I'm going to come back and play it again. There's not really a lot of, from what I can tell, a lot of diversion choices here. Um, and your character has to be human, so... I don't know. I was really excited when this game was getting hyped that I'd be able to play as like an Asari Commando or a Krogan, but not in single player. So, oh well. Um, either way, though, that's going to be it for this episode. So we've tied up all the loose ends here. We still have a few more on other planets, maybe enough for another episode or two. So thank you guys for watching, and I will see you right back here in episode 100.